Hi everyone! Hello! Welcome! I'm Dana. And I'm Cassie. And we have some new fragrances. Yes, yeah. So let's see, couple housekeeping items. Yes, please post your questions in the chat. Um, we will also be doing a giveaway at the end of the live, so make sure you stick around for that. Yes. Um, yeah, and enter. you can enter the giveaway with that link. It's also in the description. Um, make sure you enter a real email that you check into the giveaway because that's how uh, I will contact you to let you know if you won your prize. So yes. make sure you do that. Perfect. And welcome. All right, let's, let's get into it. Yeah. Oh, also, I kind of want to hear like what people think we might be releasing, like what types yeah. of fragrances you might... Um, think we we have going on what do you think's coming up get your guesses in there yeah. are seven 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 new fragrances coming very soon mm -hmm. hint hint wink wink um very soon but i want to give you a little preview so you guys can start planning your lines yeah and we have some really interesting ones here i have a clear favorite for yeah me. same same uh so we will let you know what our favorites yeah. are as well but there's some there's some good ones here and these i think are pretty much year round mm -hmm. since um, so there's not like a super seasonal bent to any of them. No, yeah, these. Yeah, I think these are all good. They could also be um, kind of tweaked for seasonality if you'd like. Oh yeah, for sure. I think these are some really really good year round options. To yeah, be honest. yeah. There's some exciting ones here. Yeah. Oof. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. I'm seeing some good good guesses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, where do we sign up for the giveaway? right there. I'll pop it up one more time. The link should be in the description of the video as well. You can click on that. If not, it's right there for you. You can go ahead and start entering um, and we're going to do a giveaway of all of these fragrances. Yes. Okay, let's get started with our first one. It is Amaretto Madeline. Amaretto Madeline. Hoo -hoo. Madeline, Madeline. Uh, Madeline, Madeline, I don't know, but they're yeah. delicious. Um, that was like my favorite <laughs> book series as a kid. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, the Madeline. They, this is so good. Um, it is probably on, on the sweeter side, mm -hmm. I would say, uh, with notes of almond, orange, vanilla, oat milk, sugar, and sandalwood. Ooh, the sandalwood in there is nice. It kind of helps mm -hmm. keep it uh, interesting, you know, add a little upscale element. Yeah, and this is definitely a gourmand. Um, yeah. This is a gourmand fragrance. It kind of falls more towards the fall section. Yeah. Um, but again, this could be totally a year round scent. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we've got the candles here and the fragrance oils. Perfect. And we do always recommend, this is the steps. Um, once you get it out of the bottle, definitely smell it out of the bottle, get your first impressions. Then if you can, use a blotter strip. Mm -hmm. And then of course, use it in your product. In this case, in most cases for us, it's going to be candles, yeah. um, soaps if you make them, things like that. Yeah, because it's going to be a little, a little different. Uh, yeah. Sometimes vastly different uh, to the out of the bottle versus the cold throw and also the hot mm -hmm. throw. I see amaretto coffee is my mm. go-to. This. I think would blend well with Coffee Shop. I don't think I've smelled this in a while. I love this. We had an Amaretto Nog way back in the day, mm -hmm. I think before either of us even started working here. No, I, I worked here. Oh, I'm sorry. It was before on, my Dana. time. Come on, Dana. <laughs> um, this, I think, is, is, is very sweet and lovely. I think it would go really well with coffee or in a coffee mm -hmm. shop line. Ooh, it's delicious. I'm not a huge gourmand girl yeah, myself, same. Uh, but I am a little bit obsessed with this. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like been loving a lot of the gourmands we've been releasing lately. Actually, they have just more of a, um, more of like a luxury sort mm -hmm. of feel. You know, a lot of times gourmands people think of as, um, you know, just kind of mass market sense, which not a bad thing. Obviously, yeah. lots of people absolutely love those. Who doesn't like a strawberry cheesecake, right. honestly? I mean, come on. But this. This just, this has something a little extra to it. It's, it's a little like... French bakery, mm -hmm. patissier, you know, like yeah. a little, I like this quite a lot. The, I will say in the candle, the, the cakiness of it comes out yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, it comes out more. I'm also getting uh, more of the spice as well. Yeah, this, I like this much better in a candle. Much better in a candle. Yeah, yeah. Give this Agreed. one a try uh, in your product before you judge it. Yeah, hard agree. Oh, wow. That's very deep. Yeah, and that was Amaretto Madeline. Yes. Mm, Amaretto I love Madeline. the almond. The almond is so nice in there. 
Yeah, it's it's kind of like I, I could imagine eating this. Oh yeah. But but Again, don't don't eat don't, candles. Don't do that. <laughs> I feel like we have to say. I know we always have to say <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Uh now that is I love I love that one. Now it's a little bit more gourmand or less gourmand depending on how you, how you feel about it. We have crystallized ginger and cardamom. Ooh, fancy. Uh, some spice. A little spice. So this has some really, really strong um, you know, spice notes in it, but in a way that I think is really well-rounded. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Please don't let the base note of patchouli scare you. Yeah. Patchouli is actually a note in a lot of fragrances you might not expect at first. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're talking straight up patchouli, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I think a lot of people feel similarly. Um, but it just adds so much depth and earthiness and just mm -hmm. um, a factor that kind of grounds fragrances a lot. So sometimes it's it's really good. Yeah, and this this is definitely a again more on that fall side. If we had to categorize it, I wouldn't I wouldn't kind of pigeonhole it there. Yeah. Um, but this is I would say a spice blend. Yeah. So all of those notes, the lemon, orange, woods, things that might not seem like they fit there, I think they absolutely do and also add to the complexity mm -hmm. of it. Um, ooh, that's that, trade. Yeah. See? Again, you'll I, I got mm. a little bit more of the citrus. Yeah. On the blotter. Yeah, it's it's more well rounded in the candle. It's warmer mm -hmm. in the candle as well. I'd yeah. imagine, I have not smelled this one burning yet, but I'd imagine that that would smell really, really nice. Yeah, there, it's the a little more gourmand on the cold throw and more spice in the mm. uh, blotter. And a good question, are these all skin safe? I believe they are all approved for soap making. Let's see. At least, I believe they are. It looks like they are. Yes, so these are all candle and when. soap safe. Love that. Oh yeah. Black cardamom and cream mm -hmm. is my favorite. I can't wait for this one. Yeah, if you like cardamom, especially black cardamom and yeah. cream, you will absolutely love this one. Yeah, definitely, definitely ups the spice there. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Uh oh, oh I think boy. we might have come to your favorite. Cassie. This is my favorite, you guys, and I'm sure if you have listened to me talk about fragrance, it will surprise no one <laughs> that I like this one. <laughs> yes, I. I was very excited about this by the name alone. Yeah, the name is before we smelled it. Um, are you ready? Here it is, Cassie's mm. favorite. Of All right, this I'm gonna announce it: fog and fern. Ah, look at that beautiful, mysterious image. I I'm obsessed love with it. it already. Yeah. Um, just those those two kind of like ethereal notes together. I, I it, it's like it just gives fairy forest to me. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, we've got ozone and bergamot in the top notes to add that airy light element, lavender and mint in the middle, and then of course, moss, earth, and a little juniper. Mm -hmm. And mm. so one thing about this one that I really love that I'm gonna be telling everyone about is we've been calling it petrichor light. Um, you know, cause I love petrichor. It's, mm -hmm. it's deep, it's dark, it's dank, it's earthy. It's not for everyone for all those reasons. Yes. Um, but Fog and Fern does have that uh, deep, earthy, dank element to it, but it's not quite as intense. It's refreshing. Yeah. It is, um, and it is very green. It is, if you want to, you know, place it on the wheel in that oh. summer category. But this could also be very moody. Yes, it is so moody. It's magical. Mm. I yeah, the graphics. Oh, um, I don't have a footnote. Yeah, you do. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I would definitely agree that this is for anyone who mm. may have been a little bit intimidated by Petrichor. I love it so much. But still wants a mysterious green fragrance. Yeah. Yeah, let me do Ooh, that. Yeah, that is that is fresh. There's something. Mm -hmm. There's something in there. It's like a surprise earthiness. Yeah. That comes out more in the candle. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is definitely another one that I would recommend making in your mm. product. Um, yeah, it's just that woody. It develops the mossy so woody nicely yeah. in a candle. Yeah, I'm just I'm obsessed with this one, Oof. you guys. So fresh. I would say redwoods and moss is along these same lines. 
but yeah. this I think is ev even fresher. That's yeah, it. it's it's fresher um, and it's less like tree woodsy mm. green than redwoods and mosses. Yeah, and more of the like the earthiness, the um, the forest floors yes. type situation. The fog, like it's it's like that area of where the fog would meet the fern. So it is above the earth. Yeah. You get a little bit of of that mm. earthiness, but it is not like your head is in the ground. Yeah. Um, New Zealand in a bottle. Ooh. I've never been to New Zealand, but I imagine that you're right. Uh, Candle Science, will you send us for a research trip? Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, we need to do I'd it. I'd love to confirm or deny. The people must know. Yes. That is, yes, I agree that that is a, a heavy contender for one of my favorites of this yes. line, but I know it is yours. And now we are actually moving on to my favorite. Oh, that worked out <laughs> Look well. Look at that. Yeah, oh. and these are alphabetical, yeah. so it really wasn't intentional. <laughs> this, I, I was not expecting to like this next fragrance, mm -hmm. and I love it so much. Uh, it's a good, it is a good one. Is this good. is probably my second favorite. And it is very, very high end. So here it is, without further ado, leather and labdanum. Leather and labdanum. Now this, at, we just got done saying fog and fern is so fresh and green and nice and clean. This is darker, <laughs> for me anyway. Mm -hmm. um, it does have some clove, some bergamot, labdanum, lavender, rose, but really the base of leather, tobacco leaves, amber, yeah. It is just so, I think, alluring. Oh yeah, alluring is a great adjective for it. Right, seductive even. Yeah, oh yeah, it's 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 oh mysterious, it's dark, it's giving like vampire mm -hmm. Lestat for sure. And there we go, winter, I, yeah. perfect winter yes. scent for me because of that warmth. Um, and it is, it is a little bit woody as well. Um, a little bit aromatic, I would say. Yeah. For sure. Oh my gosh. So let's talk about what is labdanum. I'm so glad you asked. Uh, we asked this question a little while ago. We got some very interesting answers from y'all, but it is a resin mm -hmm. from the cystus plant, uh, sometimes called the rock rose. And it, it looks like this, if I can mm. release it from its prison. Oh, it's so good. So it is, it looks like a little resin. Just a black rock. Yeah, um, so that's kind of how it comes. It is a little sticky. Um, oh, is it? It is a little sticky if you wanna, yeah. Ooh, it is sticky. <laughs> right? uh, <laughs> so it's a little sticky, it is a resin, it is dark. Um, it's almost sweet. Uh, it kind of has that very mysterious quality to it, but oh, yeah. ambery even. Mm -hmm. So it is really, really nice. Um, yeah. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah, interested to see how this compares to suede and smoke because you miss it. Yeah, I know, I do too. Uh, it's better. It, I, I do think it's better. Um, it's not smoky. It's not a smoky. So you're not gonna get that smoky element. I think maybe if you wanted to add some smokiness to it, some smoked oud would be amazing with this fragrance if you wanted to blend it. Yes, you could absolutely, I think. That would be really good, actually. Up the smoky yeah. element here, but on its own, I think this is one of the most complex oh, and well-balanced sure. scents that we we have, honestly. Yes. And I would say that it's one of the most sophisticated. Yeah, loving the alliteration. Oh yeah, we, we love alliteration. It's so good. It I think is this good. is very close. This is one of the ones that are very close from the blotter, uh, blotter strip and the candle. Yeah, it is, it is, it does translate well, yeah. Mm. Mm. I need to know what y'all think about this one. Yeah. I'm also super curious to see what people end up naming this. Yeah. Like, it, it, you, you could, of course, use leather and labdanum as yeah. the name, but I don't know. I think there's some interesting things you could do with it. There are. There are. And I want to hear them. I want to hear them. <laughs> um, what do you, actually, you know what? Drop them in the comments. What would you name leather and labdanum? Yeah. I like because like I do kind of want to share the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we had some we had some contenders um, before. Some yeah, we we had we there was some contentious debate about what yes. to name this yes. fragrance, and you know I do think we ended up with the right choice. I do as well. But Absolutely. one uh, one of the contenders was midnight leather, which I get it makes sense. It's dark. It's mysterious. But you know. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it works for sure. I think it would work better for someone's, you know, own candle line where they have yeah. like a more thematic um, sort of mm -hmm. vibe happening. I'm seeing leather and lace pop up. That's definitely. That's what I love that one. That is definitely the vibe I think here. It can be spun in a lot of different ways. I think it's Ooh. perfect for a lot of different markets as well. Mordor theme. It's almost too nice. It but, is too, but a little too I nice. I don't disagree. It could work for sure. Um, yeah. I don't know, maybe. Maybe like Rings of Power Sauron. Yeah, hot, yeah. Sa hot, hot Sauron. Sauron. Yeah, yeah, hot Sauron. <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, I'm wondering how it would be blended with Fog and Fern, because I don't think we've tried that. No, we have not really done too much blending yeah. with these. Um, we'll have to do that yet. later. They are very new. Yeah. But Leather and Labdanum, my personal fave, but I hope I hope you'll like it. Yeah. Oh, here's another another option. Yeah, the copyright will get you with that one, but uh, you know that that is kind of the vibe mm -hmm. in some in some ways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not touching trade. Yeah, well, we won't we won't we won't go there for for multiple reasons. <laughs> I do not need legal bursting in yeah. this door right now. Whitfield. <laughs> All Lock right. the door. Ooh, Lux leather. Yeah, Ooh, well, yeah. Oh, there are some of these I will not say out yeah, loud. Yeah, we're not going to go into the, we're, we're at work, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't disagree. I just can't say it out loud. But so. this one, that I like that. That could be. That yeah, could work actually. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Because it has that sort of naughty, nice yeah. sort of vibe. Yeah. And we do not have nearly enough cowboy themed fragrances. We need so, more cowboy you know what? themed. I think this is. Good. I'm here for the cowboys. Sunwashed, perhaps as well. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lux leather. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh, it. this saddle up. Yes. Brenda. Yep. I think I think y'all are onto something. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. excited. We're gonna take a hard left now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, because the next fragrance has nothing to do with any of that. Uh, <laughs> but here it is, maple maple sugar. sugar. Nice and sticky sweet. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and look at that photo. I haven't seen the photo yet. I I feel like that photo took a while to get. Wow. Yes. Okay. I'm getting I'm getting confirmation. Yes. Yeah. That was a tricky one. Our in-house photographers are amazing, though. So we got that perfect that, shot. That is a, you know, and that is exactly mm. what maple sugar fragrance oil smells like um, brown sugar, orange, bergamot, mm -hmm. vanilla, maple, and the base of sugar and smoke that gives it a touch of like that burnt mm -hmm. feeling without, you know, not burnt sugar, mm -hmm. derogatory. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a nice caramelization. Yeah, yeah, caramelized sugar. Yeah, so let's check this out. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is a little sweet for me, just personally. But I love maple. I love maple. I love maple too. Oh. And I think that this is a really, really sophisticated maple. It's not sticky sweet. So that might not quite be the right word um, for me, but. I don't know. It's know. a little, it's a little sweet. sweet. It's a little sticky. Cause I, like I, I could smell maple syrup all day. Mm -hmm. This is probably nicer than that. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me smell yeah. the cold throw. Oh, sorry. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a little more pungent out of the bottle. Yeah, it mellows out more in the candle, like like a lot mm. of fragrances do. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's very true to life. Yeah, and yeah. I think that that's important. It's not like pancake syrup. You yeah. know what I mean? It, yeah. It's, it's almost it's like not a truer fake. maple. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. no shade to Mrs. Butterworth, but no, it's, this is, it's not Mrs. Butter Butterworth. It's this like full tapped Canadian maple. Yeah. This is like the $25 bottle of maple mm -hmm. syrup. Any Canadians in the comments, please, uh, yeah, please help us out here. How would you make it more upscale? Mm, I mean, I don't, question. I don't know that you would necessarily need to because because I think the authentic nature of it, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of boosts that upscale vibe. Yeah. I would probably lean on the branding for that. Uh, yeah, branding for um, sure. And I don't think there's anything wrong with maple, honestly. I think no. it's an amazing note. Uh, so I would honestly use the branding here, um, maybe location-based, mm -hmm. if you had, you know, a really nice forested area or something like that. I definitely think oh, this is a good idea. Vermont-themed candle. Yes, something yeah. like that. Um, I think you can really elevate yeah. any really gourmand fragrance. Yeah. Or maybe, and, and I don't know, we haven't done much blending with these yet, yeah. which we certainly will do. Um, but maybe mixing it with like a woodsy scent to give mm -hmm. it that, you know, yeah. like tapping the maple trees sort of uh, feel to it. Yeah. Or even lean in on that kind of like 
bed and breakfast. Oh, vibe. you know what I mean? Yeah, like, this yeah, is, yeah, yeah. This is very, very pleasant. Very, um, like bright. Yeah. So you could definitely make this upscale. Yeah. I can't right. stop thinking about Vermont now. Yeah. All right. So let's yeah let's recap okay. some of the scents for people who are just tuning in. So these are seven new fragrance oils. They are currently unreleased, releasing soon, very soon. Very soon. Um, the ones that we have gone over are Amaretto Madeline. Nice gourmand. Mm-hmm. Crystallized ginger and cardamom. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, nice, nice spicy ginger. Uh, my favorite, fog and fern. Obsessed with that moody photo. Beautiful. And my favorite, leather and labdanum. Moody in a different way. Yeah, different kind of mood. <laughs> and we just ended on maple sugar. Yeah. We have two left, and these are two florals. Oh, wait, I, I'm obsessed with this name. Rich Brunch. Yes, but for, yes. For maples, but, but there yeah. you go. Boom. You ticked all the boxes. I know. This is like, yeah, it's like that uh, brunch spot where you cannot ever get a reservation. You know, and if you pair it with yeah. like peach mango bellini, Ooh. you are so close to having a themed like three pack. We need one more. Oh, look at me. Oh, a mimosa. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Mimosa. Perfect. Yeah. Or, or Paloma. Yeah. Either. Paloma. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Oh, question, because we got to answer. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, two good, really good questions. Perfect. Is Amaretto Madeline similar to Almond Macaron? I mean, they're in the same family, mm -hmm. absolutely. They're both gourmands. There's both almond notes in there. There's both those bakery elements. Um, I think with the Amaretto Madeline, you're getting more of the Amaretto, like mm -hmm. the, the liqueur, the almond liqueur yeah. in there. Um, and I think it's a little cakier as well. I, yeah, I would say that's yeah. accurate for sure. Mm -hmm. um, would you have both of them in the same line? Perhaps, depending mm -hmm. on um, you know what your theme is. But this, to be completely honest, might be one that you make a decision either or. Yeah, I, I would probably want to choose between the two. Yeah, and I, mean, I, I don't know which one I would choose. But I don't know which one I would choose either because I do love almond macaron too. Yeah, that is that is tough. Um, but I would say the main difference is, like you said, the the amaretto element mm -hmm. in the Madeline. Yeah. And then, okay, how does Fog and Fern compare to Petrichor? Um, so Fog and Fern, I like to call it Petrichor light. Um, it doesn't have that uh, same really intense, like, you know, graveyard dirt sort of feel to it. The earthiness is definitely there. If you do like Petrichor, but it's just, it's just too much for you, which I totally get because it's yeah. a very strong scent. Um, Fog and Fern is a good alternative because it has more freshness to it. It's got the lavender in there. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the like just mossiness that Petrichor I think doesn't have as much. Yeah, I if I were going to rank the actually probably my top three like earthy, mm -hmm. vibey, environment heavy scents, I would start with Fog and Fern, go to Redwoods and Moss, and then Petrichor. Yeah. So on that's kind of like the level of and it, it goes from fresh earth to earth earth yeah in that line that's a good way to put it fresh <laughs> earth to just earth earth earth, earth. like your yeah. head is in the ground yeah you are um, you stuck your head in the dirt and it's beautiful i love yeah. all of those fragrances equally yeah. but I mean, sometimes you want to stick your head in the dirt yeah levels it's it's very grounding yeah <laughs> yeah you need to ground you need to ground <laughs> directly into yeah <laughs> all right all right we have next up two yeah. more two florals so where are all my floral people out there. I I like these two. I these do. are kind of unexpected florals, I think. They are. Yeah. And I don't I don't know which one I like better. So let's let's get into it. Yeah. The first of them is white oris and sandalwood. White oris and sandalwood. I have been seeing oris as a fragrance note pop up mm -hmm. a lot recently. It's a trending note for sure. Um, so I'm very excited that we have a good one. So we have sea salt, honeydew melon, violet, orris, and fig, sandalwood, amber, and musk. I love anything with a sandalwood base note. Oh yeah, sandalwood is just, sandalwood is it. Like she's mm -hmm. just the perpetual it girl of fragrance, I think. And this is very fun because it is kind of an ambery floral. So it's not very powdery. No, not powdery me, at know. all. Yeah, I don't get 
It's really not very product. sweet. Um, it does fall on you know the fall winter side of the fragrance wheel. Mm -hmm. So it's not a super it's not a super bright and happy floral. It is she's elegant, you know? It's yeah. an elegant floral. I'd put her in like the same category as Moonflower Nectar. They're they're not very similar, I don't think, aside from both being florals. Mm. But they're in that category of um, a super like vibe heavy yes. floral that's unique and mm -hmm. different and um, like, you know, I think Meryl Streep would be impressed because I think this is a groundbreaking floral. <sighs> I'm gonna start categorizing fragrances by whether or not Meryl Streep would like them. Yeah, that's a good way this to do it. This is good. Yeah. But this is very like night blooming flowers, yeah. midnight gardens. Um, yeah, there's definitely that uh, really pleasant muskiness to it. And I think it's the musk mm -hmm. that that is lingering more than anything oh, else. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's not very green, so it's not a super green floral. Um, it is It is nothing like cactus flower and jade, yeah. magnolia and peony. Um, but it's still fresh. Yeah. Ooh, it is a little bit different. Yeah, like, and I think it's probably that uh, sea salt note in there, but it does have an airy quality to mm -hmm. it. And this is a really good point that I just saw. It does smell expensive. This it, belongs yeah, that's, that's in a high-end line. <laughs> this is Lux. Yeah, absolutely. that's the Lux category. You are so right. And yeah. it could be um, that this is something that you smell and you may not immediately be able to pick out the fragrance notes. Mm -hmm. Some are much easier than others. It is a little bit. Um, it is a little bit more difficult to maybe identify, yeah. sometimes. Yeah. 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 God, I love sand. I. Yeah, that's the vibe. I mean, sandalwood, sea salt. I think you can Absolutely. add sandalwood to almost anything and improve it. Yeah. That's just me. Yeah, white. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely smells expensive. Yeah. Yeah. This is like really high-end furniture, home decor store that mm -hmm. you absolutely cannot afford. Yeah. I, or at least I can't. <laughs> it's, it might smell too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it was beautiful though. Blended with sea minerals. I might have to try that. I can see that actually. Yeah, yeah. I can see it. All right, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna jot yeah. that down. We're gonna have to do an additional live yeah. just blending these, I think. I'm Probably. down. We'll yeah. take we'll take notes. Yeah. Um, so if any of you want to see anything blended together, definitely let us know in the comments. Yeah. Ooh. That's it. That's a good one. Yeah. It's really nice. All right. All right. All right. We've got one more to announce. This is another one I just I love. Yeah. I love. I love. I love. I was excited for this. And uh, this one is Yuzu Blossom. <gasps> Look at, oh, it's just so fresh. So pretty and fresh, yeah. And yuzu is another sort of trending, not just a fragrance note, but it's an ingredient in, I see all the time at like cocktail bars and salad dressings yes. and, you know, all those just sort of like boutique artisanal sort of places. Yeah. Mm. There's some really, really good citrus in here too. Oh, yeah. Bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin. Passion fruit, sea salt, jasmine, yuzu, cedar, and amber. Uh, and I really think that mm. base helps level it out so it's not yeah. super tart. Yeah. This would work in any spring line. I would I would argue summer as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it is it is definitely a citrus. Yeah. Uh, for sure. So good. Yuzu Blossom, my favorite of all time. Well, you're gonna love yes. this. You're gonna love this one. And we have received, especially over the past, I wanna say a few months, we, we did get a lot of requests for an Yuzu scent. We did, yeah. Scent, um, even, probably even longer than that. So I'm super happy with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is another one that I think just any like higher end Lux line, yeah. upscale line. I think this would make a killer soap too. Oh my God, it would be so good. I, I'm thinking I really like this for bath and body stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just, yes. Yeah. I need a gallon of the Yuzu Blossom. Yes. You might. I, I, you might. I, want, I want a lotion with this. Yeah. I mean, this would be such a great scrub, body butter, mm -hmm. lotion. For Maybe sure. even a solid perfume. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Just an idea. I do love solid perfumes. I do, too. Anyone out there love solid perfumes? Let us know. <laughs> that is really nice. And it's not oh, overpoweringly so citrus. Like it doesn't smack you in the face with citrus. It's, yeah. it's it introduces itself. Yeah. Oh, I can't stop smelling. I know, it. I'm sitting here like. <laughs> yeah. 
That is really, really nice. Yeah, let me smell the yes. cloth though, actually. Sure. I've been like hoarding the butter <laughs> strip, so. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Mm. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I okay. I'm, yeah, okay. Well, maybe I lied. Maybe the, maybe I didn't have a clear favorite. This might be a contender. Yeah, I mean, I do love Fog and Fern, but I think this is probably my second favorite. Only just. Only just. Yeah. This is really, really nice. I am I am going to make some soap with this. We, yeah, we got to make some soap with this. We got to yeah. use this for some kind of You have to project. use it. You <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to everyone out there. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah. Oh this is gosh. a very exciting launch, and yeah, very exciting. I now have a lot of projects in mind. Oh, this is a great comment, great suggestion. Ooh. Would we ever have a trending fragrance area on your website of fragrances that fit in with current trends overall? That's an interesting idea. I, I mean, don't, I don't yeah. hate it. I like it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's definitely stuff we can do on social pretty easily. Yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it's hard because sometimes they change so quickly. They do. Um, but I do think that that would be kind of a fun thing to do. Yeah. The the closest thing we might have right now is the Top Selling Fragrance Oils by State tool. Yeah. So you can check that out and see what is selling mm -hmm. really, like the best in your state. So it yeah. gives it a little bit of a local feel. Um, but yeah, we can definitely look into that. Yeah. I know this is the real vibe though. Just when I thought I had all my summer scents locked in. Sorry, not I sorry. I know, I know, I know that that fog and fern uh, has me reevaluating one of my scents, and if I need to already need to tweak it. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Are we nose blind yet? Not yet. Seven, seven is not a uh, not too bad. Yeah, but we're getting there. Yeah, I gotta clear yeah, the fences. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Any? Does anyone have any questions? Yes. Yeah. Any questions about any of them here? Yeah, yeah, we um, got through them pretty quickly. Yeah, we can definitely clarify whatever you need. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should try a little blending action with some of these. I mean, there, there, there is some potential here. There definitely is some potential here. Yeah. Um, and again, this, these are super new. We haven't used them even, you know, ourselves that mm -hmm. much just yet. So. Yeah. Uh, can we get bundles? I believe these will be launched all together. These will be launched all together. As a bundle? Yeah. So, yeah. They they should be available very soon. Yeah. And uh, anytime we do launch new fragrances, we always offer the one ounces at a little bit of a discount too, to mm -hmm. just like, you know, encourage you to try them and, you know, a little bit, a little bit of extra little bonus. Add them to your ever growing mm -hmm. library. Yeah. Killing out the latest releases. I know. Thanks, Lindsay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know Sea Salt and Orchid used to dominate the best sellers, and now it's all recent releases. Yeah, right? I think the time of like the OG mm -hmm. top selling fragrances is almost at an end. Um, they keep getting better and better with these new with these new releases. It's so. like a real struggle. I love it. I mean I love it too. It's very exciting. Yeah. And yes, these are all soap yes. safe. Yes, yes they, they are. are all soap they safe. are all soap safe, which is awesome. You can quote me on that officially. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And I don't know. I guess we might have to. I, we absolutely can. Um, yeah. In fact, we'll probably have to kind of test mm -hmm. a few things with these anyway. That's so. right. Yeah. So we might as well just do that live. Do it live. Yeah. <laughs> It might get a little unhinged, uh, but hell yeah, you know, brother! That's uh, that's what we like. Yes, and lab, lab danum, lab danum, lab, lab, lab danum. danum. <laughs> and so we are also, of course, going to be giving these away. Yeah. Just as a reminder, um, so probably soon. Go ahead and enter for yeah, that giveaway. Yeah, make sure you enter. We'll do it at the end. Yeah, we'll um, give all of the seven ones away so you can get your hands on them and start testing. Yeah. And as for when these will be available, I mean, we can't say exactly. I will say keep an eye out yeah. next week. Yeah. High alert. Hi, yeah, just just stay on alert. Stay on <laughs> alert. Make sure, yeah, make sure you're subscribed to our emails because that's where, yeah. you know, that kind of goes out first. You follow us on Instagram, TikTok, mm -hmm. Facebook, whatever your platform of choice is, um, and we'll announce it there too. So, yeah. And yeah. it definitely can't hurt to subscribe here uh, because we will be doing more lives, more live blending mm -hmm. as well. 
Um, it's all good. Yeah. All right, you guys had some really, really good questions. This, I don't know. Are they read diffuser or compatible? I believe. I think at least two of at them. At least a couple of them are, yeah. To my knowledge, I think, I think that two of them are yeah. um, currently. I can, we can definitely double check. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes with IFRA requirements, it's getting more and more difficult to make. It's that um, pesky IFRA. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, make don't blame us, blame IFRA. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Um, oh, here's another good question that I think you can answer, Dana. Yes, because I miss Amaretto Nog so much. It um, was a good one, it was a good one. I, I loved that fragrance. I would say yes, and this is having not smelled Amaretto Nog in like five years. It's been a while. <laughs> it's yeah. been a long time. But that was my first thought when I smelled Amaretto Madeline. That, ooh, this kind of sparks that same place in my brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a sister. Mm -hmm. It's pro it's probably better. Yeah, I, it's I would say from it's what an I remember. Yeah, I like it better. It's been a while, but if you liked Amaretto Nog, I would bet quite a bit of oh, money yeah. that you would like Amaretto Madeline. So definitely go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's list them all again. Yeah. yeah absolutely. For sure. Okay. So. Do you wanna, do yeah. You yeah. We've got uh, first Amaretto Madeline, which is such a pretty happy name so to me. So yummy. Yeah. Then we have caramelized ginger and cardamom. Nice and spicy and a little sweet. Mm, so spice. <laughs> uh, then we have still my reigning favorite of the launch. We have fog and fern. Mysterious. Mysterious. Mystery. 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 And then we have my favorite, leather and labdanum. So good. Ooh. Just vampire vibes. So vampy. So good. Yeah. Then we have... What do we have? Oh, maple sugar. The sweet one of the bunch. Yeah, nice and sweet, sugary, mapley. You know, yeah. sounds like the name. It's per yeah, it yeah. is perfectly named. Mm -hmm. And then we have white orris and sandalwood. Yes, beautiful. Queen, queen floral. Definitely, yeah, a queen floral for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. And then lastly, we have yuzu blossom. Nice, light, citrusy, airy. You have to have a good citrus. Yeah. You gotta got do it. You have to have a good citrus. Oh, that's a good question. Here they are. They'll be available soon. Which ones do you recommend for the guys? Mm -hmm. The I, bros. The bros. Um, it's a really good question. Yeah. I know. It's like some guys really do like those traditionally like masculine scents. Um, but then I found a lot of men also really like really sweet stuff. Yeah. Um, if we're talking like mandals, I would probably do <laughs> mandals. Like, <laughs> uh, I would probably honestly go leather and labdanum, but yeah, very high end. It's it's man cave, but like fully furnished. Yeah, a pool table, well decorated. You know, yes. Yeah, it's not just you know a TV on the floor with like a lounge chair in front of it. <laughs> a man cave decorated by women. And like, yes, uh, I, I am calling you out. So. <laughs> No, but, but in all seriousness, I, I would definitely say uh, leather and labdanum. labdanum. Um, crystallized ginger and cardamom, yeah, too. Yeah. If we're talking for, like, perfume or cologne or mm -hmm. things like that, um, it's it's going to be kind of up to the individual, as as it always oh, is. Yeah. Um, white orris and sandalwood, perhaps? I was about to say, honestly, I do think white orris and sandalwood would work, too. Mm. But Even, I know it reminds me of a lot of those um, just, like, really gender-neutral mm -hmm. uh, colognes. Yeah. That works well for everyone. Mm -hmm. And you know, I love an inclusive fragrance. Yeah. Fog yeah. and fern. You know, fog I'm, I'm going to say fog, yeah, and, fog fern and fern too. too. Fog and fern too. It's very, very clean mm -hmm. for if you're talking bath and body. Um, I think that this would smell really nice on oh, yeah. people. Yeah. It's a good people scent. Agreed. Oh, and I love this comment too. Mm -hmm. Great for when I do the Rin Fair. So excited. I love a Rin Fair. We got to go to a Rin Fair. Take me with you, we gotta Sarah. Go. Oh. There's a good one in Charlotte. We should go, Dana. I just want candle signs yeah. to be yield candle makers so badly. Yeah, can we set up a booth? Yeah. <laughs> Someone sponsor us. Can we go? <laughs> um, Fog and Fern sounds a lot like Oak Moss and Amber. Actually, I don't know. They're I pretty disagree. different. They are actually pretty different. I, I see why you might make that. Yeah. Comparison I, though, it's so difficult. I wish I wish you could smell them. They're like through. maybe second cousins. Yeah, you know they're not like unrelated. 
No, I think I think it's the like the uh, it's a little bit maybe like ozonic. It has it's, it's like more an ozonic. To it's it. more ozonic and it's also more earthy. At yeah. the same time. Yeah, but it's not heavy. It's not heavy. It's so hard. It doesn't have the same like uh, muskiness. Yeah, yeah. Lighter. It's lighter. Lighter yeah. but still strong. Yeah. So close, but yeah, it's yeah. definitely on the same. I should I should have put oak moss and amber in that earth lineup mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Which one is more promising? I'll say or most promising for bath and body. Mm. A lot of them honestly would be, but yeah. my pick, if I had to pick one, is gonna be the yuzu blossom. Same actually. Yeah. Um, yuzu blossom. Yeah, for sure. It's it's the first. It's the only one of them that I smelled that I immediately mm -hmm. wanted to wash my hands with. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I would um, love to have a lotion. Yeah. Scented yeah. with that. I mean, that would just be beautiful. Agreed. Yeah. And these scents will be out soon. Yeah, out Ooh. soon. Yes. Would Fog and Fern be a good greenhouse scent? Personally, I lean more towards Cactus Flower yeah. and Jade for that, as almost like you are walking into that very specific environment. Mm hmm But this is not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah. If you have more of a, um, I don't know, like a dark academia greenhouse, like a like a darker, yeah, where you're growing more like ferns and mosses and, I don't know, maybe even some mushrooms, mm. like. Well, there's really nothing like super flowery. About yeah, it's it. not floral at all. Um, so it, it might work. Yeah, it it might work. Mm -hmm. But cactus flower and jade would be my first and last pick for a greenhouse or fluorescent. Yeah. Fog and Frank could work, could work. It could work, it could work. Maybe maybe they would be good blended. Yeah. That might be something yeah. we have to try. And you can always add, you know, if you like the base scent, you can always add your personal little touch to, mm -hmm. to tweak it better, yeah. you know, towards your brand or or liking. Yeah. Yeah, or to, you know, fit what you're what you're going for. Yeah. All right, should, should we give them away? Should we give them away? Let's yeah. give them away. Has everyone entered All the giveaway? Right. Oh wait, last I need, call. I need my laptop to do that actually. Oh yeah, we'll get that. We'll get that. Up. Oops, I forgot. Same thing as I did last time. Our intern, aka highly trained videographer. Yeah, uh, <laughs> who, who is not an intern. <laughs> all right, last chance to enter the giveaway to win all of these seven brand new yet unreleased fragrances. Yes, we'll give you a minute. Yeah, I'll give you just a minute. Maybe we'll answer one more question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Ooh. A new fragrance to replace your hemp scented pride candle. Ooh. F fog and fern. Um. Yeah, I mean, if you want something similar to hemp, fog and fern and oak, oak moss and amber? Or fog and fern with vetiver, maybe? Vetiver. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want to keep it kind of that, that earthy green mm -hmm. feeling, fog and fern. I'm just gonna give you some options. Fog and Fern, Oak Moss and Amber, Redwoods and Moss, Vetiver to maybe all of those. Petrichor yeah. might be a little too heavy. Petrichor would be um, too much. But I think the yeah. Vetiver might add that touch of like dankness that you got from yeah. the hemp. Because yeah. that's what I really liked about yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Um, so I would try Vetiver with one of our more foresty blends mm -hmm. to kind of recreate that. Yeah. I'm sorry that that one is gone. I like I that one a lot. Yeah, that one, uh, that one gave us some some problems though with uh It was it, very hard to market. It gets flagged, you know, which yeah. if you guys have ever tried to do it gets flagged and then, you know, the internet doesn't like it. So yeah. so womp womp. Alright, well I'm going to pick the winner in a second. Okay. If you have not entered, there's a link in the video description to enter the go, giveaway. Go, 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 go. Please enter a real email address that you check, because yes. otherwise I won't be able to contact you to get your shipping yes. address. As always, check your spam just in case. Yes. Um, if you do win. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Ballots are closed. Picking the winner. And the winner is. Oh my gosh, Sarah. <gasps> Sarah Spragus. Is that the Sarah? That is the Sarah. <laughs> oh, nice. Do we have the noses? We do. Wait, wait. I can't wait for you to smell them. Yeah. <laughs> floating noses. That's my favorite feature. I love the floating oh. nose. 
Oh, that is so exciting. That is so exciting. Yeah. Um, definitely like DM us after you smell them. We want to know what you think. Yes. Yeah. And we want to know what all of you think. Yeah, that goes for everyone. These will be being released super, super soon. Keep an eye out. Yeah. Um, make sure you're subscribed to our emails because um, mm -hmm. that's where we announce it. Yeah. Absolutely. And follow us on, you know, platform of choice. And uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna be talking a lot more about these fragrances once they are released. Mm -hmm. And we will have some homework to do to get some really, really good yeah. blend recommendations and alternative branding ideas for you mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, we're gonna be testing some blends out, coming up with some names, yeah. other cool concepts maybe. And we'll definitely make some stuff for you. Yeah, we'll be making some stuff. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to be doing some things with these. I am dying to make a soap with you with Yuzu Blossom. That's next on the docket. So yeah. maybe we can we'll we'll fit something in there for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So check back when we're when we're done with that. Yeah. Awesome. And yeah, congratulations, yeah. Sarah. You can look for an email from me to uh, you know get your get your fragrances to you. Yeah. You're gonna get get to smell them first. Super excited. Uh, again, these will be available mm -hmm. very, very soon. Um, check in next week. And until then, uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. This was so fun. Bye, y'all. Bye.